We are well on our way to getting Starfield Showcase and more information about the game. Fans of the game have been theorizing for what seems like forever now with what we could potentially be seeing. What is drawing a lot of attention though is that of all the planets we will be seeing in game. In the Xbox and Bethesda showcase, Todd Howard himself said that we will be seeing over 1,000 planets, all fully explorable in their own way. But I don't think people know exactly what that means just yet. And what is up guys, Andrew from the Den Men here, and today I want to talk about why the planets in Starfield are not quite what you think they are. There is certainly a lot that we could be seeing, so if you are excited, make sure you hit that like button and comment what you want to see from the planets in Starfield. But with that being said, we have a lot to go over, so kick back, strap in your seat, and let's blast off into today's video. Now, ever since Starfield has been rumored, people have speculated on just what space exploration is going to look like. Well, last year at E3, Todd Howard himself revealed the first gameplay footage of Starfield during which he shared this information on what planets would be like. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just this planet, it's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. The announcement of Starfield's inclusion of over a thousand procedurally generated planets sparked immense excitement and discussion among gamers. As is often the case with internet discourse, numerous individuals began sharing their opinions, expressing concerns about the potential drawbacks of such a vast number of planets. The prevailing sentiment at the time suggested that procedural generation on this scale might not enhance the game's overall experience, but rather lead to an abundance of barren and uninteresting worlds, ultimately wasting players' time. While these arguments have garnered some attention, it is crucial to acknowledge that procedural generation has become somewhat of a trigger word in recent years, partly due to the mishaps of previous games that utilize this technology. One such example is Bethesda's Fallout 76, which encountered significant issues and received negative feedback upon its release. Additionally, No Man's Sky, which relied heavily on procedural generation, faced criticism for prioritizing quantity over quality in terms of content. These instances have, understandably, contributed to the skepticism surrounding the potential benefit of procedural generation in making games more enjoyable. In November of 2022, PC Gamer published an article which further fueled doubts about the viability of a thousand planets in Starfield. The article highlighted the shortcomings of Spore, a game that had promised ambitious feats of procedural generation but failed to deliver. While the concerns raised in the article are valid, it is important to consider the context and evolution of technology since Spore's release in 2008. Starfield, with it being developed in 2023, utilizes its own cutting-edge technology which may differ significantly from the outdated systems employed in Spore. Drawing direct comparisons between these two games would be akin to comparing the technological advancements of the Elder Scrolls universe to where we are now with Starfield. Moreover, PC Gamer's argument assumes a uniformity in procedural generation techniques and fails to recognize the multitude of forms and applications it can take. I'd say a prime example of successful implementation is in Bethesda's own title of Skyrim. Skyrim leveraged procedural generation systems to its advantage, enabling the creation of one of the most immersive and beloved open world experiences in gaming history. This demonstrates that procedural generation, when utilized effectively, can breathe life into video games and significantly enhance their overall quality. To shed light on how Starfield intends to leverage procedural generation, Todd Howard, the director of the game, offered insight during a podcast with Lex Friedman. He went on to explain that their approach involves constructing large tiles of handcrafted landscapes which are generated offline. These tiles possess a remarkably realistic appearance, serving as the building blocks for the planets. The team then developed a sophisticated system that seamlessly wraps and blends these tiles together to form cohesive planetary bodies. This process ensures that each planet boasts a unique design, minimizing repetitive patterns and creating a diverse and captivating universe. Addressing concerns about the potential monotony of exploration, Howard acknowledged the challenge of designing engaging experiences for planets that may appear devoid of activity. To combat this, the team chose to embrace the loneliness and solitude that players may encounter while landing on seemingly desolate planets. They aim to immerse players in the ambiance of these environments, likening the experience to listening to the wind or watching a breathtaking sunset. By focusing on capturing the beauty and awe-inspiring moments of exploration, Starfield aims to provide players with a distinct emotional connection to the game's universe. 
Furthermore, Howard emphasized that despite the procedurally generated nature of the planets, the game would make it clear which content is handcrafted and curated designed to emotionally impact players' stories. This handcrafted content will serve as the main quest and narrative-driven elements ensuring players have meaningful encounters and experiences. Meanwhile, the open procedural planet experience will cater to those seeking further exploration and the thrill of discovering new frontiers. To maintain a sense of quality and to deliver a curated experience, Bethesda has intentionally limited the number of planets to a manageable yet substantial amount. While the game boasts a system capable of generating an astronomical number of planets, they have opted to define a specific yet meticulous crafted experience for players. By doing so, they can strike a balance between the wonder of exploration and the need for a cohesive and compelling gameplay experience. It is worth noting that Starfield does not aim to rival the sheer quantity of procedurally generated content found in games like No Man's Sky, which boasts an astounding 18 quintillion planets. Instead, Starfield's focus is on delivering a finely tuned and curated journey through its universe. Bethesda seeks to captivate players with a balance between the benefits of procedural generation and the emotional impact of handcrafted content. In conclusion, the initial concerns raised by critics regarding Starfield's inclusion of over a thousand procedurally generated planets warrant consideration. However, it is crucial to understand that not all procedural generation is equal and the advancements made in technology since the release of earlier games should not be overlooked. Bethesda's own experience with procedural generation in Skyrim serves as a testament to the potential for creating remarkable and engaging open-world experiences. By combining handcrafted design elements with the sophisticated integration system, Starfield aims to provide players with a diverse and captivating universe to explore. The game's emphasis on the emotional connection, the beauty of solitude, and the thrill of discovery showcases Bethesda's commitment to delivering a well-defined and meaningful experience. Rather than boasting about the sheer size of the game, Bethesda's focus lies in creating an intricately crafted universe where players can embark on a finite yet immersive journey. By blending procedural generation with handcrafted narrative content, the developers strive to strike a delicate balance that ensures both quality and quantity in the gameplay experience. Starfield's approach offers a promising alternative to previous instances where procedural generation overshadowed meaningful content, igniting anticipation for a game that captures the wonders of exploration while maintaining a sense of depth and purpose. What probably gets me the most excited is the potential to travel to those farther systems and planets and being able to find something that another player might not. That right there is why Starfield seems so intriguing and I hope that there are a lot of moments like that out there. Another great feature comes not from Bethesda, but from modders. With over 1,000 planets means we can be seeing a lot of different mods for each planet that won't overlap with each other, so for that reason, I will definitely be taking a look into a couple of unique mods out there. Starfield has a chance here to become Bethesda's next great single player adventure. Planets for the game will play a big part into that, and I can't wait to see what they have to offer. Even though we still have a little ways to go until we can play it for ourselves, it is good to finally get some confirmation about when it will actually be released. I'm sure that we will be seeing a lot more from the planets for Starfield, so make sure you guys stay tuned for all of the latest information. But that is all for me now though guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, comment any videos you want to see in the future, and I'll see you all next time!